All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC, DC. And if anyone is well-equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 18 wins, nine losses, and one draw. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Evan Dunham. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, Griffin rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, the back of your not fun. Are you ready? Are you ready? It's going to really go. Round one is underway. I can't wait to see how this fight plays out. He told us on Thursday that despite his opponent's submission acumen, he's more than willing to engage him on the ground. A lot of times guys fight with their ego. They try to go and fight their opponent in their spot. Let's see if this proves to be a very bad decision. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Beautiful punch. And he lands the knee to the body now. Again with a right punch. Yeah. 
Let's go, let's go. It's a warning. Nice three punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Rips the body there for good measure. Oh, man, hit the land. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind that real well. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. Didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing it. He doesn't have any tell when he's going to throw a knee. Nice. The right hand just misses. Plus right hand is true. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Oh, and he lands another pinpoint counter. He has done an excellent job seemingly all night, remaining patient, waiting for his opponent to strike first, and timing his counters perfectly. Big kick lands. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Take him down. Lee gets caught with that punch. Body kick is blocked. Doubled up on the jab there. Nicely done by Dunham. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Connects with a right. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Kick to the body by Lee. Swing and a big miss by Dunham. Big leg kick land. Switching stances here. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. 20 seconds left. Lee's kick is blocked. Nice head kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Round two is next. check out some of the action now from that previous round and he really kept finding a home for those kicks yeah and why would you change it if your opponent is not going to check if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary you keep driving those kicks into his thighs into his body until he makes some sort of adjustment all right we'll see how it goes here in this next round a high number of kicks landed there in the previous round and at some point these are going to really start to take their toll. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Digging kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, yeah. 
slips. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. He's gotta be careful dipping his head in the that jab. And he landed the right hand there. Dunham's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Got clipped with the right hand. Caught that kick there. That strike blocked by Lee. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out, the jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique. Almost like a Tybo class or something like that. Nice punch lands. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, wow! Head kick. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Shot to the body, turned back by Lee. Kick, kick, land. <laughs> Try to establish that jab. Just misses with the left hook. swing and there's the miss by Dunk. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Two there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Now connects with the right. Hands high, hands Just high. missed with the left there. That's a big strike right there. Checks the leg kick. Real quick leg kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. Keep going again. There's no tell on that leg. Dunham gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. He's trying to establish that jab once again. Up to the headland. Oh, there by Dunham. Right, 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 right. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Calm down, calm down. We knew this was gonna be a brawl, okay? We knew it was gonna be blood. 
All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this round. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of speed. Unbelievable. Back to the feet. Checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad in his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Well placed kick there by Evan Dunn. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Let's move. And he caught the kick. Going orthodox now. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh, nice punch there by Dunn. They continue to exchange. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds. Making up for lost time here. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Just misses with the jab there. Dunn's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Great punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. All right, it's time to start using that low kick. Fight for the fight back! Yeah! Oh, nice shot! Yeah. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Oh, big oh, man. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes in. Pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score tonight. Oh! Use her. Serve him up. Go get him. Keep your hands up. Use your now. Okay. He is getting lit up right now, John. Punch land. Oh! Right punches there. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Lee's got a bruise now, starting to appear on the right side of his body. He's looking to land the right, just out of range. What a body kick. Oh, he's out. Holy smokes. Oh, my goodness, what a fight. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent. But that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliotta has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 55 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon! Lee!
Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.